What is going on, Easy Gang? I will highly appreciate it if you guys can go to the link in the description to go follow my brand new mixer. We are trying to get a partnership over there. I will be doing all my streaming on Mixer from now on. So if you guys could, I will highly appreciate it if you guys can give me a follow. Once again, that link will be in the description. And I'm out. Shit, it's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Easy TV bring you guys another Division 2 video. Today I just want to talk about some of the recent up, uh, changes that's coming to uh, Division 2, TU6. Um, they have a PTS, uh, PTS out right now, um, and they're still like changing stuff around. But we have some patch notes from um, TU6 from the PTS, and I didn't actually want to make a video because I want to see how I, everything will iron out. Um, but I have some major concerns on where the game is headed to as a whole. Um, you know me, I'm gonna just be honest with you guys from what I've read so far. Um, TU6 is looking a little bad. I don't think it's going to save the game. I think it's going to hurt the game from the changes they are making. Um, we will go over some of the stuff. I will leave the patch notes, um, you know, the website or whatever in the description. So, so you guys can go see it yourself, but let's just get into the patch notes. All right. So. This is the TU6 patch notes right now. And, um, you know, we basically going to go over some major stuff, PVP stuff, um, different changes that they're making. And this is, this is still keeping me away from the game. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. The game is real stale right now. And I think the game is even going to be more stale if they keep these, uh, you know, changes in the game for TU6. All right. So, First things first, we have uh, uh, Dark Zone gear normalization, which is not too bad. It says player stats will no longer be normalized and angels will receive their full recalibration bonuses at end game. Players below gear score 500 will still receive stat boost to allow an easier entry into the Dark Zone. Talents continue to have PVE and PVP versions, which is uh, okay. And... Um, so we're working on displaying all PVP modifiers in the UI. So it, most of these changes in PVP like are kind of like dark zone ish and they're not bad at all. Um, they're, they're not bad. I really want to see like what the real changes are going to be for state of the game. I think that's coming up. They're supposed to be talking about, but um, let's go and look, they got some conflict stuff right here. I can really care less about conflict control points. Loot targeting. We already talked about uh, loot targeting and stuff like that in a previous video. We talked about recalibrations and then brand sets. Brand sets now have an available uh, an item available on every slot mask, backpack, vest, gloves, holster, and knee pads. The only exception is the 511 brand, as the real life version doesn't cover all slots. We're happy to stick with that. So 511 is the only one that's not getting that. We talked about that. In a previous video, we also talked about crafting, but I want to talk about the nerfs and the buffs that's that's going on in the game right now. So, um, stash is increased by 150. Um, brand sets balance and changes two piece. Uh, summits is give you 10% skill power. Uh, up from 5%. China light three piece give you 20% skill haze down from 30. So that's a nerf um which i didn't this this wasn't called you didn't have to do that it, no one was complaining about that uh petrov defense group three piece set is now 20 percent skill haze down from 30 you know you didn't need that neither but it is what it is um we're not going to talk about the npc skills so so the secret mines have been increased by 20 percent explosive damage like really got buffs all right increased damage of cluster seekers by 30 percent increased cooldown of cluster seekers uh mines by 40 to 60 seconds lower quantity of cluster mines from four to three increase cooldown of blinder uh from 60 to 90 okay um in a sense the blinder thing is okay because people were 
abusing it in the DZ for the blonder because it can come back super fast. So that might be okay. But they buffed the damage on explosive seekers. Now the people who run seekers in dark zone occupied and stuff like that are still going to be one shot. And the thing that I'm seeing about this patch is everything is getting a buff and a nerf. More nerfs probably than anything, but they're still keeping the same amount of armor and the same amount of health. And that bothers me because um as you guys know right now in the state of the game that we are in most people are running some type of 3117 some type of post healing bill something like that to get on the rope spotter we already know how that works but we have other people who have like 14 1500 2000 skill power that runs good kim heals and it's really hard to like kill them because you know you have longer fights they have good heals they got good healing mods or you have people who use BTSU hybrids like myself um, that when you use the BTSU gloves, you get, you know, more skill, haste, more duration, more healing. And it's almost you become immortalized um, when you're fighting people because it's so hard to kill somebody like that. So now from what I'm seeing, from what I've known, they nerfed the Eagle Bear by 15 percent, which was the stupidest thing they could have did um, them nerfing the Eagle Bear, to be honest, in my eyes was like the breaking straw for a lot of people, okay? Because if the Eagle Bear is just a little bit more strong than the P416 or the AK, what is the purpose of doing the raid now? What is the purpose of it? Because you're not gonna feel any type of real satisfaction from it because you know it's almost on par with the P416 and the AK. So what am I breaking my neck to do this raid for if the gun is just a little bit stronger or a little bit better? I don't think they should have did the 15%. Um, I think they should have left it as is. It's a raid weapon for a reason. And on top of that, it's an exotic rifle. It's supposed to be the strongest in its class. It's supposed to be very, very strong. It's not the strongest gun on the game. The Nemesis is one of the strongest guns on the game. The, the, um, the Diamondback is really strong. You get 100K plus whites on body shots with somebody against somebody in the dark zone with, you know, the Diamondback. So we can't just say, oh, the Eagle Bear is OP. It's not OP. It's supposed to be that strong for a reason. It's a raid weapon. This is not something that you can just get from any activity. It's a raid weapon. And on top of that, it's an exotic. It's supposed to be strong. So the people who call the damn nerf for this game, content creators and all and i said it and if you have a problem with it you can say something to me about it you guys called for a nerf and it got nerfed in pvp and in pve so it got nerfed in both so these devs are not going to care about oh we're only going to give a nerf to pvp but we're not going to no. so y'all just ruin it real deal the people who cry for the nerf because most of the people who cry for the nerf did not even actually have the gun because they were getting killed by the gun they couldn't get it now it's nerfed throughout the whole the whole game and what people don't realize is for um for division with the massive developers when they nerf something they nerf it into the ground so congratulations that you guys cried enough to get the gun nerfed into the damn ground all right so it's like it's almost pointless to almost run an eagle bear now because to be honest for the people who are like real sweats or really know how to put a build together, the P416 was stronger than the Eagle Bearer. If you ran a nemesis with headshot damage, the, the P416 put out way more damage with headshot damage than the Eagle Bearer could even touch. So to be calling for, you know, uh, uh, why am I getting shredded uh, and crying? And because, you know, it's crazy how people cry over a nerf when they have shit builds and then they wonder why they get shredded. You're running around with 150K armor, 200K armor, and you wonder why you're getting shredded. I'm going to shred you with a pistol, but we cry for an Eagle Bear and nerf because you're getting looked at and you're getting burned to the ground. And just because your build is shitty or you don't know how to correctly build, then the Eagle Bear needs to be nerfed. And the devs listen to that now. That's like, the breaking, the only reason why a lot of people stayed around in the game as is right now is because they were trying to get the Eagle Bearer. They were doing the raids. Now, since you nerfed the Eagle Bearer, 
What is going to make people come back to this game if the Eagle Bear is nerfed? What do you guys have in store? I don't think they have anything, all right? So uh, we're going to go through some more stuff. Uh, like I said, the Eagle Bear, which was the dumbest shit ever. They did not need to lower the damage, but we also can say this. The PTS is not full. It's not all the way. You know, it's not going... It's, it's only changes made in PTS. So who says that this might be 15? It might be 10. It might be five. But to put this at 15 percent and it's on par with the P416 and the AK now it's that's that's crazy. All right. Um, you got new talent. You got new um, new talents now. Damage an enemy with skills or grenades grant 15 percent weapon ass for uh, 15 seconds. That'd be good for like a secret mind build or anything like that, or people who just spam grenades at the, the checkpoint fights. Uh, vigilance, gain 25% weapon damage, receiving damage, disables this buff for five seconds. What's the point of that, Massive? That seems like, what's the point of that? What is the point of having this? Because you get 25% damage off top from what it looks like, but if you get hit, by a bullet if you get hit by a grenade if you get any type of damage on you you lose 25 you lose a 25 percent damage for five seconds what's the point of having that you're the name of the game is you're going to get shot by npcs players no matter what it is you're going to get shot so this right here i think kind of needs to be reworked because you're going to get shot so what's the reason of having that in the game if you know that you know you're going to be losing this bonus consistently all right so gear changes on the ropes have been nerfed um weapon damage is increased by 15 percent down from 25 percent. so they nerfed this into the fucking ground they took 10 percent away from it while all skills are on cooldown they shouldn't have touched on the ropes the thing is you don't have to nerf everything into the ground you can buff certain stuff so it can compete with other stuff if you understand what i'm saying like what was the reason to nerf on the ropes and then gain vigilance 25 percent damage to compensate like a backpack talent or something like that but if you get shot you lose it so what's the point like you nerfed this you nerfed the eagle bearer you nerfed unstoppable force what the you nerfed spotter like compensated this nerf they nerfed everything into the ground and that's because people cry about this game this is what they need to do take out pvp leave it as a pve game because these nerfs are nerfs towards pvp these nerfs are really towards pvp because you can have a nice damage to elites bill and not have on the ropes a spot or anything like that or you can run a nice secret mind bill or some type of skill bill and just devours you know stuff in pve they don't really need on the ropes and spotter but on the ropes and spotter and unstoppable force is something that people really use for pvp so most of these nerfs that we're getting is affecting pvp so i'm not understanding how this is going to actually save the game when you're nerfing everything into the ground hopefully these changes will not be final i don't believe that you can you should nerf you should take 10 percent off from on the ropes that just didn't make no sense if anything if anything you're basically making it to where people are going to be fighting for a very long time so we got a skill power buff where you can run these immaculate heals and then you're lowering the damage on talents so that means the time to kill and all that stuff it's going to be it's not going to be quick no more people are going to have very long fights because the builds and the damage from the guns and the the damage I mean the 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 nurse from the talents and stuff like that or the skills however you want to call it the skills talents whatever the case may be they're weaker so now you're going to have longer and longer fights because now that those are nerfed skill power kim launcher heals are not nerfed so anybody who has a good uh, a good uh, build that has nice heals to it or BTSU hybrid with nice heals, you're going to be fighting that person for a long time. And nine times out of ten, they're probably going to beat you because they're going to out heal you every time, and you're not going to be able to put out enough damage to kill them. Especially if you don't have the heals that they have, they're going to beat you every single time. 
So I don't understand about this. Like, this is really frustrating me, even though I'm not covering the game as much as I used to, because it's kind of it's kind of stale in a sense. But dude, y'all really nerfing stuff into the ground, and it's because people are crying about it. Just leave the game alone and buff stuff. Let's just where we can get a patch or we can buff stuff to make it equal to other stuff and not nerf everything into the ground. Have we not learned our lesson from Division One? Like fuck. All right, unstoppable force. Killing an, killing an enemy grants one percent now, down from two percent. Weapon damage for every twenty thousand armor and and not twenty five thousand armor. So basically, they took one percent away. So you only get one percent damage. And unstoppable force did not need this. Now they they drop unstoppable force. All right, what else has been nerfed? I don't care about buffs and all that stuff because all that other stuff is really trash. Spotter. 15% down from 20%. So 5% has been taken away, which Spotter did not need that type of, you know, it didn't need that type of nerf. It didn't need to be touched at all. Should have just buffed of the other stuff. Weapon damage to, uh, uh, you get 20, basically 15% weapon damage to post uh, enemies. And compensated weapon damage is increased by 10%, down from 15%, which they dropped that as well. When your critical hit chance is below 20%, now correctly removes the buff if critical hit chances increase and bu uh, the buff is active. So we're nerfing basically everything for PVP. Those three or four talents that I'm talking about is really used for PVP. Those are like the main four talents that are used for PVP and they are nerfed, including the Eagle Bear being nerfed. I, I don't understand it. All right. Anyways, um, you know, we're going to see what else they have naked. Um, anything that sticks out to me. We're just looking through here. Premeditated has been nerfed, uh, which people don't even use premeditated like that no more. But you get um, it says weapon damage is increased for every share reloaded to a maximum of 40% up from 35 percent if the shells are reloaded you get an additional 10 percent down from 50 percent so they nerfed this into the ground they nerfed that completely into the ground you used to get 50 percent now you only get 10 so they nerfed this completely into the ground this is not even useful anymore so then you just take that out the damn game um inventory character loadouts that's really about it so y'all tell me how y'all feel about, you know, them nerfing all this stuff into the ground. And like I said, I'll leave the patch notes there, but this is ridiculous on how much they're nerfing everything into the ground. And it's mainly affecting PVP. And this is a PVE game. Like make stuff stronger, other stuff stronger to be on par with different guns, with different talents and you know, you don't have to nerf everything into the ground. Everything does not cause uh, does not cause you to nerf. It does not cause you to nerf. Maybe you should, you know, do a brainstorm until, well, hey, we can buff this to be able to, you know, to go head to head with this talent. Or we can buff this gun to go head to head with the Eagle Bear. Or we can buff this. You guys got to think in that way. But for people to call nerf, 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 nerf. And now they're nerfing everything. And for the people who never played division two, we have experienced this already. You guys do not understand. If you guys are a division two player and you never played division one, listen to me. You guys don't understand when you call for these nerfs, they're going to nerf it into the ground where it is not usable anymore. We have experienced this from division one. You guys are new to this game. So when you call a nerf, they're not just going to nerf it a little bit and tweak it. They're going to nerf it into the ground. So maybe you guys should can reconsider on calling about a lot of nerfs in the game and not giving them reasons on how to nerf it because they're going to just do their own thing and they're going to nerf it into the ground. All right. But y'all just let me know how y'all feel about it. I'm not really crying about it, but it's like, damn, the game needs to be saved at one point. I actually like division, but it needs to be saved and they're going in the wrong direction by nerfing everything in here and then be like, well, we got all this new content and stuff coming in TU6, but you nerfing everything into the ground. So it's like, what's the point? But it's your boy, Easy TV. Y'all let me know how y'all 
you know, how y'all feel about everything that's going on in the game or PTS right now. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, notification button. It's your boy, Easy TV, and I'm out.